Am I looking dapper? Do I look good? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Monsieur Renard, aka Mr. Fox. My name is Owen, and in this video, I want to talk about my diet, how I am deliberately eating right now, considering having really good health, vibrancy, energeticness, power, zest, zeal, vibrant, even sexy, throbbingly, positively good vibes and well-being when I'm 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 or more. So if you want to like live old and healthy instead of fade in your 60s, because I just watched a video by this 89-year-old raw foodist. He's been raw foodist for 50 years. He's now 89. He is, his posture is erect. <laughs> He's standing up straight. His name is Fred B.C., he gives lectures. He's got like loads of energy. His mind and brain is awesome, very healthy. Um, and he is like the epitome of like what somebody when they're in their 80s or 90s could be. And and I won't say should because shoulds don't exist, but could be. And me personally, I want to be like alive and kicking strong for my grandchildren or great grandchildren. Like I know how to do it and I know enough to like live to easily to like 80s even i only running possibly marathons or at least mini marathons or at least in nature running as much as much as i want when i'm in my 80s or even 90s or even over 100 i know the power of fasting i know the power of systemic enzymes i know the power of water fasting juice feasting dry fasting i know the power of herbs i know the power and this is what i'm sharing with you in this video everybody i know the power of all these modalities i know the power of not going to bed on an empty stomach when you you wind it down the gears and you're ready to sleep get a full rejuvenation all these like things i just mentioned like juice feasting water fasting dry fasting going to bed early on an empty stomach listening to your body the free power of the sun but not too much incredibly good for your hormones your pineal and pituitary gland your adrenals thyroid all of your glands because the brain has the master gland the pituitary and the hypothalamus but keeping it simple, um, I know the power of sleeping in a dark room. I know the power of like air ventilation, the air, breathing exercises, or at least belly breathing. Um, deep breathing into your belly is like very, very good. So the free the free power of the sun, the air, um, swimming in the sea or having a cool a cold shower or a cool shower and, and um, salt baths like Epsom salts or sea salt or rock salt in your bath cleanses your aura. Um, relieves anxiety and um, stress and like pain and inflammation cold showers and salt baths and essential oils are tremendously good then of course i haven't even gotten to the power of raw foods properly raw living foods as well like fruits fruit based um moderation it's okay like you can get away with obviously like some like some small little things that aren't perfect but as long as you're doing the majority or the huge majority right you're gonna get younger um you're gonna get younger you're going to get younger as in your like from whenever you start doing the healthy lifestyle. <sighs> so good. Thanks, Nori. Nori says hello. I look so tanned. She loves your beard and the tanned. <laughs> Thanks, Nori. <laughs> That's sweet of you. <laughs> I've complimented loads of people today. I actually made a Facebook post of me like complimenting like around like four men in Dublin and then a bunch of three guys. I. Uh, and then another guy painting his wall. It's like, nice music, nice suit, ah, nice size, because this guy's huge, nice size, nice height, I said. <laughs> and then I said, um, nice trousers. He had like really funky red trousers, another guy. <laughs> this black guy had a suit. And then this guy was painting his wall and he's listening to music in, out in the front garden. And sometimes I bring my little like speakers, it has Wi-Fi, and I go cycling with like pumping the music, the positive vibes. And I said, nice music. Thanks for sending it. So um, I know how to detox the acids and to bring an alkaline state to the body um, and have a mental and emotional harmony, serenity and well-being. So all of this. So the, and then just touching the earth. So grounding yourself. So to, like the tribes who get a lot of sun, they're very tanned, like the way I am now, getting the most tanned of my life. But not too much. Today, my, I was, my body was telling me like, oh, and get out of the sun, like take a break. So I didn't take off my top today for the first day in a long time. I kept it like not sleeveless. So 
listen to your body all the elements like water earth sun um and air they're all free and nature they're extremely healing and fasting is free as well like you just stop eating like pretty much all of these are super like healthy and free all the the healthy stuff is free having love and love for your neighbor and happy lovely family and partnership relationship all this is so nourishing and healing to the body and to the mind and to the spirit but when we come to the physics they're all extremely good physically extremely good vibrationally and physically but then if you want to heal physically even more which is in terms of the diet switch to a predominantly raw food diet that's vegan i definitely would be cutting out as much of or all of definitely cut out the dairy try and cut out as much to all if possible and then just like even meat and fish apparently the smallest fish are the best because they've got the less mercury so stuff like sardines i heard are the best because or one of the best because they're the smallest the big fish like the tuna they've got they they accumulate the most mercury which is heavy metal and brain bad for your brain okay so but overall dairy has way too much growth hormone which increases the growth of cancer etc um, and helps cause inflammation and acidosis too some people ask what about raw dairy yeah raw dairy is definitely much better than factory farm dairy or like cooked homogenized pasteurized dairy of course is much better but it's still not recommended i definitely wouldn't recommend raw dairy it's just still inflammatory and congestive so nari says love the wallpaper too thanks nari you're funny <laughs> terry says i'm driving not touching my phone at all and i hear your voice oh that's nice terry i find my phone and there you are oh there you are that's one of my favorite things to say oh there you are <laughs> i find it really funny i even used to say to strangers and still do on the, on the occasion <laughs> And I'm glad you're enjoying listening, Terry. Harry says, good info on sunshine on your genitals is the ultimate power I'm finding. Yeah, I sunbathe naked often. Like the other day I did it for an hour and a half and I rotate. The sun is supposed to like possibly go in an inch or two into your body and help cleanse and detoxify. So it's good to rotate a little bit or get it on all parts of your body. It's great for testosterone. It's great for like hormones overall, the sun is. Because too much of anything is not good, everyone. Like you can die by having too much water. Um, you can overeat on raw foods especially if it's complicated recipes with like salt and oil and all that sort of stuff you can eat too late um, you can get too much sun and get sunburned and get tired instead of energized you can drink yeah you can, as I said, um, what else earth yeah you can't get too much earth really I sleep on a grounding sheet so it means I'm connected to the electromagnetic frequency of the earth cheap things you can get them on Amazon only cost probably around like 30 euros maybe like 30 to 40 dollars maybe a bit more who knows but they last a lifetime so pretty good value so everyone i think that's all i really want to say mm, yeah you can live old and think about your children and your children's children and even your children's children children like there's no reason why we couldn't or shouldn't live till 100 80 90 100 in fit brilliant brain power because most people who do eat the wrong stuff like you know like i mentioned in this video like processed foods are addictive so you have to be very careful eating them and they're definitely addictive you want to eat real food and um, even like for example the greeks the greek diet the mediterranean diet they, it wasn't all raw but they probably ate in moderation it was clean mostly organic food and if you're not drinking or smoking or having like processed foods you still get a chance to live healthy into your 80s even 90s or even over 100 so you can definitely do this on a mostly raw or at least a whole foods, real food based diet, cutting out the processed food and the chemicals and addictive stuff. So it's not that you have to be too strict, but if you get all the free stuff, like I mentioned, like let's say you eat pretty well, like I just mentioned, real food, whole food, and then you get the sun in moderation. You get the swimming in the sea or the river, or at least the water therapy from your shower or your bath. You get the essential oils, you get the salt, salts. You get the water therapy, cleanses your aura, helps heal anxiety, like anxiety and like off or bad vibrations. Brings harmony and peace to you. And then you're going barefoot walking sometimes. You're getting the reflexology on your feet. It's all free. You're helping your liver, your organs, your kidney, your heart, your brain by doing all this stuff. And then you do sometimes like you stop, have solid food vacations. You, you start doing liquids or water or dry fasting more. You're going to heal and alkalize your body. You're going to move your lymph system, especially in the, you can also do fruit only fasts or feasts, which are very, very healing everyone. For that, I recommend um, 
checking out Orville Douglas on Facebook. He's like brilliant, like teacher of fruit only and dry fasting, but especially fruit only living. He's a five year, he's been doing vegan for years and raw food. Then he switched to just fruit only and he's really muscled. He's in his mid fifties. He's got his full head of hair, black. He's a dark colored skin, like black guy, you know, and he's just really muscular. And like he busts the, the myths that like you don't get enough protein from fruit. Like I know some people saying like fruit just he doesn't even eat that much, just one or two meals a day, only fruit, no avocados. So he just eats stuff like mangoes or bananas or dates or like cherries, grapes. Yeah, not even that much. Like <laughs> so anyway. Diana says, You're a beautiful light, Owen. Much love from Michigan. Much love, Diana. So everyone, the most important thing in life is to be happy. Just wanna could forget about everything else for a second. Most important thing is to be happy. And to vibrational alignment is the most important thing. That means emotional alignment or well being. It means having a sense of peace of mind and happiness in your heart and love, being connected to who you truly are on a deeper, higher level, which is a loving, happy, playful spirit, like a divine inner child, divine inner adult, divine empowerment. Um, divine warrior or warrioress and that is all the aspects of a human we have the inner child but we also have the divine inner adult we have responsibilities etc um, Aiden says you look like a sh shipwrecked sailor with a tan <laughs> that's funny <laughs> so laughing every day is so important everyone I forgot oh yes I remembered that's a free medicine laughter is a huge free medicine People used to be really sick dying in hospital and they they got like all the funny videos and comedies and comics that they could get and they healed themselves by just laughing. <laughs> My brother laughs all the time. He's never sick. He hasn't been sick. He's basically never sick for like 25 years or more. I can't remember because he laughs. That's his gift. He's always laughing and he loves television and he finds things very funny and yeah, that's a blessed gift. He's a lovely man. Lovely, lovely, lovely guy. But the power of laughter is healing. And then all the other powers, the breathing. We don't need as much food as we're typically told. Um, but yeah, just be careful of processed foods. Get more into whole food, real food, homegrown food if possible. Even organic food, if you can get it and it's good quality and ripe. I prefer to buy ripe, good quality, nutritional rich, non-organic food that's been grown better. As in, it's more matured on the plant, on the vine, receiving the nutrients from the water, the earth, than a prematurely picked organic fruit that doesn't have, eat, taste the same, doesn't satisfy the same, it's not as enjoyable, and it's not as nutritional. Just because that is less chemicals doesn't mean it's more nutritional or better, better for our health. <laughs> so, okay, everyone, I hope this video puts a lot of like health stuff into perspective on, on how we can benefit from all the gifts of the free stuff. Like sun, air, earth, water, and um, water fast, um, fasting, um, water fasting, dry fasting, juice feasting, reflexology, and walking barefoot on the land, sunbathing, getting out of nature, exercising is free. It's another huge, huge, really good healthy thing. We should all be exercising almost every day, and exercising is, it just means moving your body and pumping your heart, um, lifting some weights, gaining some muscle. And I like calisthenics, which just means like I like cycling, I like pull-ups, I like sit-ups, push-ups. I like playing, walking up a mountain or doing nature walk. So, and then I like eating like these days. For the last, this is my fourth day now. I've been back on, I I went off like fruitarian and raw food for a while, like on and off into cooked vegan. But this is my fourth day again, eating just fruits. Oh, no, sorry. This is my first day just eating fruits. But the last three days I ate just fruits and a little bit of hemp seeds, a little bit of walnuts. And a little bit of pine nuts. So like on a little bit of raw pistachio. But not too much to be honest. But other than that, 99%, 95% fruits. So fruits will help you to heal and detox your lymph system. And I highly recommend um, bananas for calories or energy. Um, like cooked starches or fruits are like the fuel for your car. You, you need the calories if you're exercising and living a life. In, or moving your brain. Or I mean using your brain. Or if you ha have a fast metabolism like me, you need to fill the car engine with fuel. And that's either cooked starches, like potatoes and roots, which isn't optimal, but still good. Like, you know, a lot of the Kenyans eat real food and they win marathons. And so the Ethiopians eat real food and they eat starches. 
for me it's definitely nowhere near as good as fruits but it's good fuel and it's it's good if you're already fit and healthy but if you're already like weakened or sick fruits is where it's at it'll heal and move your lymph system whereas carbohydrates won't they'll slow down your lymph system if it's in any way impaired or if your adrenals or kidneys have been impaired in any way so yeah some people do the 30 day grape fast where they eat grapes for 30 days and they heal cancer and they move their lymph system and they heal and cleanse their body but you can also eat just fruits only without the avocados because avocados are so thick dense and greasy that if you just eat the more water your fruits or do the fasting and do all the free stuff you will get better so trust in yourself everybody like the human body has an, an amazing miraculous ability to heal given we get out of the way and allow it to function properly by cleansing and cleansing the home cleansing the house so harry says shipwrecked sailors are very healthy aiden <laughs> diana viking in the past lifetime here <laughs> Laughter, nature, and salt baths help me so much. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you said that, Diana. They are. They're so good. I'm going to have a salt bath later. The sea salt and essential oil of lavender. Hugging a tree, digging the soil, plant something. Yeah, definitely. Connecting with nature. It's all free. Like, it's so healthy. The tribes have had a lot going. They'd be barefoot. They'd be so tanned. They'd only just cover their genitals a little bit. But, like, for me, I don't really care. Like, if you live in nature... I'm not ashamed. I love my body and I don't mind about anyone else's body. Like just nudity is the way we're born, everyone. Like all that stuff is shame is just a joke to me. It's ridiculous. I love naturalism. Obviously with inappropriateness, like social standards and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'm just saying the tribes people had a really good, like they're very clever. There was very little rape in the tribes because very little to none, like sexual deviancy, because it didn't shame and hide the body. It was like, what's underneath there? Oh, and then after years, oh, what's what's there? I want to see it. People like build up sexual frustration and weird weird thoughts because it's been hidden for so long. Whereas if you just live in a tribe and they teach like it's okay to have a body, it's not. Really. Yeah, it's okay to have a body. There's nothing wrong with nudity. Nudity isn't sexual. It's just nudity. So, so Diana said. Diana says no dairy for you. So is there a way you make your smoothies? To be honest, I don't have a blender anymore. I sold it. I don't have a blender. I just, I just eat my food like all the other insects and animals. No recipes. I try to have as little recipes as possible to none and just eat. Not, I don't mind blending. I'm not saying blending is bad, but I'm just saying I think eating is just more natural and simpler and less expensive, and you don't have to mind maintain or replace or travel with the blender or juicer. Okay, Vince says thank you. Thanks, Vince. Uh, okay, everyone, I'm gonna go now. So hope you have a lovely day. I hope you if you like this video, please do like it, share it. Yeah, if you want. No, no pressure, don't have to. Just a thought, a reminder, like or share the video for the people that benefit. And if you, if I happen to upload this on, on YouTube, please do like and share and subscribe. If you didn't know how to YouTube channel, check me out on YouTube and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications of new videos on holistic living, happiness, vibrational alignment, healing, relationships, fun, laughter, natural medicines, herbs, um, communication, and just being happy no matter what. Just surfing the life and loving life and being super happy, loving yourself and loving everyone. And just making the most of this holiday of the soul here on earth. <laughs> this is the habit. Okay, see everyone, take care.